Well, hello, 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 and good morning, or good afternoon. <laughs> hello, it's your Mystic Journey Divine, coming to you with another inspirational reading on spirit, from your ancestors. Ooh. How are you doing this Monday morning? It's so sunny and bright here, although it's cold and chilly in the East Coast. <laughs> yes. So in spirit of Monday, being our day of grounding, setting good intentions, going for, for the week ahead, returning after a weekend, I hope that was relaxing, rewarding, rejuvenating for you. We're doing earth signs today. I've already done the Capricorn reading. Capricorn was run, go see, it, it was amazing. <laughs> So, the next earth sign we're going to do is Virgo. Hello, my beautiful Virgos. My sexy go-getters. Yes, my strong male energies. Yes, both living in your divine feminine energy. And for men, that is a positive thing. Women like to see men who can lead with a gentle touch, as my verbal men can. Yes. And I'm speaking of positive, uprighteous Virgos, not you karmics. <laughs> Although I love you too, fans. So what do we see ahead this week for Virgos? What's in the stars and the moons for Virgos? What should you focus on? Give your energy to. What should you give up? What are the warning signs for you coming in this week? So we're going to ask Spirit. I've already cut the cards. Or shuffle the cards. We're going to ask Spirit to speak to us. Yes, what do we need to know to grow? Yes. How y'all doing, Virgos? That's too many. How you doing, Virgos? How you doing out there? I do the love. I have a Virgo in my home. My baby is a Virgo. She's been her emotions lately. You've been in those emotions, Virgos. Are you in your emotions? Okay, it keeps coming out. The same card. It's stacked, so I'm going to take it. Have you been in your emotions lately, Virgos? Feeling off-centered, a little moody. Are you having cravings? Are you sleeping a lot? Are you feeling tired and not wanting to do much of anything? Uh, is that what you're going through, Virgos? We have, oh, the triple five. Five being the number of inevitable change. So we're going to take them. As they complement each other. We have the three of wands. Expansion. Foresight. Rapid growth. Rapid growth. I just said five. Inevitable change. Rapid growth. Something is moving quick. Or someone is moving quickly. But this car relates to expansion of self and knowledge. I see a progression in your life ahead, moving forward, letting go, releasing, healing, believing, manifesting. I see fertility. I see money for Virgos. Yes, money. Do you smell money? Money. I got, I'm not going to sing the song, <laughs> but it goes money. I got money. Ooh, money. I got money. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, um, I sang that for Capricorns. That is the song of the day. Money. I got money. You are further than you think, and you have more than you know. Whether you see the now, Virgos, you are abundant, and your abundance is about to grow. Whether it be creativity of a new business, a new skill, whether you be awakening, 
ascending spiritual growth. Maybe you're moving fast in your connection back to self and your purpose. Finding your niche in life, your niche. Niche. N I C H E. Look it up. <laughs> so all that, all those moments of rest, stagnation, depletion of strength and energy, going within seclusion. Keep it. Safe. Maybe you were storing up your energy. Maybe you were growing within self. Maybe you're reconnecting to spirit and the divine in the universe. Preparing yourself for that which you didn't even know, which is on its way to meet you. Because we have page of wands and our inspiration, freedom. Are you feeling free? Have you released yourself from that which held you hostage? All thoughts, all ways, all habits. Yesterdays, and you're walking into the new. You want to explore your options? Do you have options, Virgo? Is it time to choose between this or that? Him or him, her or him, her or her, them? Is it time to walk into that which you desire, that which you manifested? Have you put your intentions out? In secrecy, speaking to yourself, verbals, from what I see, <laughs> tend to talk to themselves a lot, tend to sing a lot. They're like their own best buddy, two sided. I see freedom from burdens. Limitless potential and opportunity. I see doors opening. I see Virgos kicking in the door. Taking charge of their future. We have the judgment card. After a period of being stagnant, being alone, being deceived, being rejected, steered the wrong way, making better choices, better decisions. You're ready for change. You're ready for new. You're ascending. You're awakening. You went within. You're reflecting on yourself. What have I done? What do I want? Where do I begin? How do I do it to make it better, more prosperous? How do I build financial freedom, passive income, so I can spend more time giving to myself, exploring the world? Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to find yourself again, that childlike energy, that playfulness. We have the Ace of Wands to end off the number five. Fifth card, creation, desire, new beginnings. What do you desire, Virgo? What do you see? What are you inspired by? What are you giving your energy to? Because surely it says your willpower is strong. Is you ready to build an empire, an enterprise, a new a new business idea? May be emerging a new direction. As I said, new direction. A plane is flying overhead, symbolizing new journeys, a new direction. The chariot, rapid growth, the chariot rapid coming in or going out. Giving and receiving, flying high, ascending, an airplane ascending, taking off into the sky. Yes, for, ooh, okay, flipping out here. 
as we see this in a sideways direction. We have the Seven of Cups, Three of Swords, Six of Swords. Ooh, Virgos. What have you gone through? Although I see new possibilities. Although I see new possibilities. Oh my God, what did I say earlier? It came right out. You have decisions to make or you're making decisions that will bring positive change into your life. Maybe you're fantasizing about something new or someone new or being somewhere new. Maybe travel is, maybe you want to relocate. Maybe you're moving on. Maybe you're moving and you're afraid. You're worried. Fear has you caught up in Not, not being sure what decision you want to make. Spirit is saying, go within. You have everything you need. You have everything you need. Everything you need, Virgo, to decide what's best for you. Don't let illusions of <coughs> not seeing ahead or not knowing what's come stop you from progress. Three of Swords, you've gone through a period of grief and suffering. Something has ended. It broke your heart. Whether lost love in relationship, a lost loved one, a parent, a child. Mm. You know the pain of that. Great emotional pain. Maybe you lost sight of who you were or yourself. Because the world felt like it had turned against you. No matter what you do, things just couldn't come together. No matter how hard you worked, things just couldn't come together. And you grieved, you cried, you sobbed. You asked the questions, why me, oh God, why? What do I do? Where do I go? What have I done wrong? How do I change my life, myself? I don't want to be this anymore. I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to be alone. I want to be forgiven. I want to forget. I want to know better. I want no more love. I want to trust what I see. Spirit says, "We heard he. I heard your call. I felt your tears. I caught every one. I used them to mold, manifest." And feed, nourish, and water your new garden that I have manifested just for you, beloved. You are a child of the divine, male or female or other. God loves you. God has felt your pain. God knows you didn't deserve it. God knows you didn't deserve it, judgment. God knows you didn't deserve it. God knows that it was meant to teach. It wasn't meant to punish. We were meant to learn and to grow and to be still. And to go through it. Because the only way th over is through. And because you stood steadfast in your belief in God, in your higher self, in a, in a higher power, and you knew that you deserved more. And this had to be temporary because you were willing to do the work and you were doing the hard work and you prayed and you fasted and you changed your footsteps. 
You chose a new path and a better direction. You chose to move on and move up. And go within. You released the old. You made room for the new and you allowed. God is now giving you your rite of passage, Virgo. Your rite of passage. There's a new pathway laid at your feet. It will only lead you to everything you wish for. Everything you've lost will be replaced tenfold. You're being rewarded with abundance and fertility and growth and change and freedom. Free to be you. Free to be loved as you are. Free to be accepted. Free to be acknowledged. Free to love. Free to speak. Free to live. Without burdens. Free. God's going to bless you with freedom. Freedom of mind. Freedom of heart. Freedom of spirit. Peace. Harmony. Alchemy and balance. Judgment has restored balance. Now we'll go to our soul's journey. What is your soul's journey? What does spirit want for you? What are you to journey on? What is what are you to focus on ahead? Where are you going? Where should you be going? Your soul's journey. How will you feed yourself? Nourish yourself. Continue to grow. I'm getting a very profound sense of peace all of a sudden. That's my voice lowers on its own. I feel a release in my back, in my chest. It almost felt like you couldn't breathe at one time. Because we're constantly being stabbed in the back. By those you loved. And you thought loved you. That could be what the judgment card is for. Or you were self-sabotaging yourself. Taking away your own breath. Because you were allowing yourself to not see that. Which should have been behind you. Let go of long ago. Released. Long ago. But you kept holding on. And now you've let go. In a sweet spit. Mm. Virgo. Soul's journey. Three cards for Virgo. Soul's journey. Rest my beloved Virgos. Rest. Eat sweet, delicious, nourishing fruits. I see you need sweetness in your life. I didn't say candy, although an ev a cookie and a Danish and a cupcake every now and then. Oh, I love pastries. I'm a sugar baby, yes, as most Capricorns are. Maybe a glass of fine wine. Treat yourself. That's so many cards. Oh my God, Virgo. Treat yourself, Virgo. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve something nice to be done for you. Watch a more comedy. Laugh a little. Raise your vibrations. You've made it over because you went through. And you survive. Three cards for soul's journey. From my beautiful. Okay, we're going to take that four. We got five again for Virgos. Virgos. 
The number five is surely your number of the day. Look up the spiritual meaning of the number five. It means change. Change. Positive change. Yes, rapid growth, inevitable. We have grief again on the board. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. What did I say? You may have lost. You may have lost a loved one, a child even, a pet, a job, a relationship, long term has ended. But you understood the assignment. You realized that I can't hold on to that which leaves and is meant to be gone and doesn't want to stay. I have to realize it for what it is. It was meant to teach me about making choices. Better fit for me. Better supportive energy. Maybe I need to choose myself for a change. Virgos are great friends and listeners. They're affectionate. They're comforting. Like the mother. Virgin Mary, Virgo. They're nurturing. But they tend to give away a lot more of themselves. And you may have given away a lot more of yourself and then that which you gave away walked away. And left you depleted and didn't return the energy. You have the denial card. I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the right, the insight of awareness. You may have been afraid to be alone which is why you stay so long. You may be afraid to step out into the new. You may be afraid or been afraid of hmm. denial. What are you in denial about, Virgo? You have to sit on that one if it resonates with you. There's something you are not seeing for what it is. Oh no, I'm sorry. It says I acknowledge. You see it for what it is. But you denied it for a long time for what it was. It may have taken you a long time to walk away, to give up, to release, to let go, to go within, to give up the anger, the hurt, of revenge, the victimization mentality, the scarcity mentality. But you did. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that har harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I paused in that denial card. I was a little confused about what direction it was going in, but this card clarifies it. What do you have to forgive, Virgos? Are you angry still about a love loss? Are you in denial about the part you played and why it ended? Have you not forgiven yourself for being allowed to be in a place you didn't belong that caused you profound grief? Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. You have the judgment card in the tarot. 
Judge not thine enemies. Judge not the haters. <laughs> Judge not thy deceivers. Judge not thyself. Be all here in human form, making human mistakes. As God forgives us, we must forgive others. And then thus, we must move on and let go and let God. Balance is the key to healthy, happy, and abundant living lifestyle. Balance brings in all desires as it alchemizes our connection with the universe and we are met with that which we put out. The final fifth card is friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. A friend might have broke your heart. Their friendship is what might have been dissolved. This may be the person you lost. Friends. Friendship connections. Stab in the back. A friend. A friend that you consider a sister or brother. A friend that you confided your secrets in. Your wishes. Your love. Your energy. And maybe no longer. So it wants you to know that even enemies serve a purpose in our lives. Haters, imposters, deceivers, toxic connections are meant to shake the ground that we walk on when we are being complacent. Stagnant. Taking too long to get up. That is meant to show us the reality of our situation so that we can make positive changes to grow our fertility to find our true purpose put us on our rightful path and put down that which no longer serves us or holding us down or weighing us down so that we can't walk with freedom and agility If that has happened, believe that whatever happened, the outcome was meant to be for your highest good. If this has not happened, Spirit is saying, understand that you need other people in this journey we call life. We're not meant to journey alone. We're not meant to live alone. We are meant to be connected to hundreds, thousands, to the universe in totality. <clears throat> allow friends, allow friendships, allow new connections to find you. Allow healthy give and take to guide you. And since friendship's on board, we'll pull three cards from the Whispers of Love deck. Find out what spirit wants us to give when this pertains to love or receive or manifest or do. Spirit is speaking love into your reading. After a period of loss, love wants to come in to find you, Virgo. In your playful energy, my Virgo are comedians. They are the life of the party when they are not in seclusion. They love that childlike energy that flows through them. 
but sometimes it can be taken for granted as in being gullible, immature, unready, and sure. But they are not. They are mothers, bosses, leaders, guides, speakers, healthcare workers. They take care of the sick and shut in very well. They take care of children very well. They are teachers, nurses, doctors, therapists. They are the grandmamas, the lama damas of the family. Virgos are go getters. They like money. And they will make sure they keep it around them. They're often so giving that they don't see when the devil comes in. They want to love everybody and offer everybody love equally. But don't cross them. They're not to be reckoned with. Because they have what it takes to fight back. And they will. They protect their seeds with everything in them. Fight or flight, they fight. <laughs> they not the. They don't take flight, they fight. <laughs> okay, Spirit, can we get two more cards? Two. Oh, that's too many. We have one on deck. Can we get two more cards? This was of love from my Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. We have spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. That is a soulmate, Virgo. Have you manifested a soulmate <clears throat> at the ending of relationship? Is that what the grief was? Were you in denial and stayed in it too long and now it's balanced because judgment has been served? And a tower has, a death has come. Have you forgiven and now manifesting a true soulmate? Oh, we have, mm, look at that. That is the lover's card, an oracle. True love, Virgo. This love is a once in a lifetime. Virgo, 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 you about to get a soulmate. You're about to get a twin flame energy that ignites your body like passion never before felt. Ooh. Come on, Virgo. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. Don't be too cautious, Virgo. When this love comes, let it in. Don't be too hard. Let down your guard. And receive that which you have Wish for. The spirit is about to send it your way. She's about spirit is about to send it your way. Five. Rapid growth. Expansion. You about to get a new love, Virgo. Are you ready? Do you want it? What are you willing to do to have it? Sacrifice. Keep forgiveness in your heart for those that have done you wrong. A past love. A past friend. Forgive. We're all human. We make mistakes. Some more than others. But none judge any higher than the other. A sin is a sin. A sin is a sin. I don't even use sin. A mistake is a mistake. Only need correction. God doesn't judge one more powerfully than the other. They all judge the same love. So even though you think that maybe they did more than you did, that's where denial comes in. It takes two, baby. Even for a towel moment. Yes. <laughs> but there's new love coming, Virgos, just for you. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to be happy and live well. Because you have a pure heart. 
You're a giver. You're a lover. You're a lover, Virgo. You're passionate when you're not being playful. Yes. Or playfully passionate in the bedroom, but I, I don't need to know your business, Virgo. <laughs> Okay. Three, we got four. We're going to take all four. We have a spring. Your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom. This new love, this soulmate. This new love, this soulmate, Virgo. Coming in the spring. And all, you might say, oh my God, I got to wait. Yes. And your temperance energy. Because the months are going so fast. Spirit needs you to be ready. So maybe there's some things that you need to tweak. That you still need to focus on. Elevating self. Connecting to spirit. Awakening. Ascending. Healing. Right in the spring. Six months. Your world is about to burst wide open with love. Be ready. Be faithful. Your desires, your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favor. Have faith. The universe is working it out. It's still being weaved to perfection. You don't want it unless it comes exactly how you want it. Time and patience, belief, your desire is about to come into fruition. Express your individuality. Allow your true self to shine because you're awesome. You're awesome, baby. The gods think you're awesome. You're beautiful within and without. And because you're awesome and walking in your individuality, your authentic self, you believe in you when no one else does. You know you're beautiful. Virgos use the art into vanity of self. They believe in their ucky. They like to be pretty. They like to be well-dressed, well-groomed masculines. Money in the pocket. Hands on the wheel. Keys for the house. They're a partner that compliments them. Doesn't embarrass them. Spiritual teacher. Your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. There is your soul's journey message. And it popped out. The message is that. If you didn't know, now you know. You were meant to be a teacher. A spiritual teacher, a healer, a healer. You're meant to speak, use your words. You're meant to counsel. As I said, you may be a teacher, a therapist. You're meant to do cause healing work. As a woman on this card, says the monks, do you see all those tiny little animals? It's like she's a teacher in a classroom, and these are all the students around her. And they are listening so intently. There's a star coming out of her head, shining down on them with wisdom and knowledge. to teach in whichever way you choose podcast YouTube write a book public speaking teaching in the classroom community events teach Virgo speak Virgo you're authentically made perfect in all you are and complete of self you don't need to do anything else 
but continue to listen and connect with God. Ask for what, that which you need to fulfill your purpose. Your purpose is on deck. Don't second guess why you're here, what you're here for. Spirit is letting you know. If you're confused about your purpose, be confused no more. Do not continue to walk in denial of your gifts and abilities. Denial. You are the one. Bring balance to your life. By stepping out and stepping in. Forgive others and yourself for not seeing or for waiting too long or for whatever it is that you have forgiven for if you have forgiven. It's time to move on and move up. Prosperity and growth are waiting for you. Creativity is waiting for you. Manifestation is waiting for you. The world is waiting for you. Join us. Yes. And do not preach. Teach. Do not preach. Speak. Do not preach. Guide. Lead. Be an example. Be an example of what you see. Be an example. It's time, Virgos. You have six months to the spring to line up just like you wish. And when the spring comes and it rapidly comes in, <clears throat> be ready. Don't be surprised. Be ready for it. Be ready to rise up and meet it. New love, new opportunities, new growth, new friends, new connections. New resources. New direction. God will redirect your steps. Where would you like them to take you? Do you have a vision board? And whatever for those spiritualists or whatever, or teachers who tell you, oh, don't make a vision board because it means you don't believe in the now. Vision board means you believe in tomorrow. You believe in destiny. You believe in manifestation. You believe that you can achieve all you see. What do you see? Lay it in front of you. Put it together. Put it on the board. Write it out. Journal it. Speak it. Read it. Affirm it in the mirror. Speak to yourself, your higher self, that is there to listen. Because you are in control. But it's time for action. It's not time to wait until the spring to get up. Do it now. Be ready to walk in and be a boss. Be ready to pull in your harvest from the seeds you sow. They will grow into a beautiful bounty in the spring. You don't plant seeds, what will blossom? This is time planting seeds. Plant. Read, educate, travel, go to conventions, seminars, online or in person. Line your mind up with positive things that are aligned with what you desire. Stop hanging out and wasting your time drinking and smoking with friends. Going nowhere. Doing nothing but gossiping. About unnecessary things. Put your place in put yourself in a place of positivity and stick with it. Change your daily routine or create one that aligns with positive energy. Virgos, this was a beautiful reading. Beautiful. Beautifully designed by God and your ancestors and your spirit gods. And you don't have to know them for them to be with you. So they give us time and patience to find them. We must first find ourselves to find them. For they live within our DNA. 
our space, our environment, our mind, our intuition, our heart. So stay within. Stay within. Okay, my beautiful girls. I hope this message resonated. I hope you took some food for nourishment. I hope it uplifted your spirits for today on this beautiful Monday. The intention is set forward is to be intentional about moving forward. Yes, and positivity in love and forgiveness. Yeah. You're beautiful. You're enough and you are complete. And you are stronger than you know and more abundant than you see. You are never alone as you are guided and led by all of your cosmic family. They joined you at birth from the womb and that and they will forever be with you in this lifetime. And the next and next and next. <laughs> so my Virgos, as within, so without, as above, so below. If you need more answers or you want to connect with my energy on more personal one-on-one, -on -one, my information is below in the box, description box. Reach out. Say hello. I don't bite. I flow. <laughs> yes. Check out my oracle cards, my tarot, that can help you align your own life and read your own energy daily. They're easy to read, easy to follow. And they connect with spirit energetically. In touch of your hand. Yes. You're beautiful, Virgos. I feel your energy. And it is comforting. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing this space. Hit the like and subscribe button. I would appreciate you giving and receiving. It's free of charge. I wish you nothing but love, success, and all your endeavors going forward in this week ahead. I say beautiful. I say and enjoy the rest of your day. Till we meet again.